Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and I haven't filmed for like a week. Although you've been seeing videos, this is always my disclaimer, but I just said all that to say I'm excited, okay? So let's move on. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you know that I got a bunch of goodies in the mail, but let me show you guys. This is a box that I got from Ruby Kisses. And it's a whole lot of stuff in here. So what I'm going to do, just like my other video, you guys seem to really like, it was a makeup haul slash try on. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through this box and we're going to see, you know, what I can make work. Like if I can make it happen. And y'all know, I'm always going to work it out. Even if I mess up, we're going to fix it. You know, Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. There is an eyebrow pencil in here and it is brown black. I'm not gonna use that because I don't usually use a brown black pencil. So I truly, truly wanted to make this a one brand makeup tutorial, but it doesn't look like that is gonna happen because I have to use some other brow pencils and I don't see a concealer in the box. So I think what I'm gonna do is for a concealer, I'm gonna use this Iman Concealing Foundation because you're supposed to double and use it as a concealer and a foundation. So I think I'm gonna do that, which I will have a video coming up of the whole line and I'm gonna do a wear test and all that good stuff. In my last video, I used this Kiss BB Cream I showed you guys in the last video is a little red. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use their other BB cream that they have right here. I have a video all about this already. Like I did a review probably like three years ago, but since I have some fresh ones, I am probably going to mix that other BB cream with the medium beige in this color to give it a little more yellow. So these right here are the blush palettes. They're called Sweet Cheeks Palette and OMG. Like look at the colors. Look at that. I, ooh, I don't know which one I'm going to use. And this one is a toned down one. These colors are nice. I can't wait to dig into these. And then look at that. And here's another one, which I'm thinking of using this color as a contour because it kind of looks like that Mac sketch powder or sketch blush, which I don't have, but I really want it. I'm going to try that today, I think. And they also have some mineral powders in here, but because there are none that are my exact shade, we're going to go with the BH powder because BH is affordable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, but I'm going to show you guys the colors. And um, matter of fact, maybe I should name them so you guys know. This one is Chestnut and it looked like it got a little harmed in transit. And then this one is Honey Brown right there. And this one is Ebony and this is Cognac. We have some eyeshadow palettes. These are intriguing. These palettes remind me of the Sonia Kashuk palettes at Target. But here's the thing. I have to do a neutral look, okay? Because I'm supposed to be doing lip swatches with Mini Me today. And every time, it seems like every time I do a lip swatch video, I always do like this banging look or this like dramatic eye or something like that. So I'm trying to keep it simple. And then they sent some of their satin lippies, but they also sent some matte lippies. There was like major hype around these matte lippies. And this one right here, especially, is called Purple Affair. Oh my gosh. I don't think I did a lip swatch video on these. I think I did it on their liquid mattes. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some boom in it. They have triple butter matte creams. And look at this color right there, y'all. <gasps> Sipping wine. My boo and I. What? These names and Berry in Love. Then right here, there are a few like balms, which I don't really wear lip balm, so I will probably give this to many, many me. I'm gonna improvise with some liners as well from LA Girl, and I will probably use this setting spray by Milani, the Make It Last. I promise you, when they came out with this setting spray called Make It Last, I totally thought about Key Sweat. I'm just saying, make it last forever. So for my brows, I totally was using the NYX chocolate pencil and the ColourPop pencil, but then LA Girl sent me some um, brow pencils, and the one that I love so much was in medium brown, and I used it all already. So I started using this one in the shade Espresso, and like the next time you see me, it'll be all done, because I'm not gonna hold you. I don't see a transition shade, but I do see a shade I can use as my brow bone highlight that like looks like peach smoothie. I do not see a transition color in there. This one right here, Looks like it could be a transition shade, but I'm already knowing, like I've been in the game for a minute and I'm already knowing that this is too light. Y'all know what that means, right? I'm not gonna do Cocoa Bear today though, but when in doubt, Makeup Geek works it out. I'm just saying, and they're affordable too. So 
I'm just gonna go there. I'm gonna go into this color right here, this color Cabin Fever. Oh snap, before I put that in my transition, let me put a base down. This is the LA Girl Pro Primer High Definition Shadow Primer. Like I just got hip to this the last time I did that makeup tutorial. And just like Mikey, she likes it. And I just found out, they just sent it to me that they have a black one and a white one. But because I'm trying to do a neutral look, we're just gonna go with this neutral color. Whenever I do these videos, I get a little bit nervous because I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna come up with and how bad I'm gonna mess up. So it's like, eep. say a prayer, okay? So I'm gonna put this in a crease. Oh, that's really pretty. And this is the Daily Life, Daily Life palette. Get your daily life. <laughs> and oh my God, I have not done a shimmer type lid in, the lo in a long time, y'all. Now remember, if you want it to be more pigmented, you can totally do like Fix Plus or something, but I'm not doing that. I don't wanna use like another shimmer on my lid, so I'm gonna go into this, it's like a deep cocoa brown, I think. I'm gonna use the other side of my brush, and I'm just gonna put it like right here. Let's see how that works. Just to give it a little bit of a deepness. Okay, I'm gonna see about this one. Okay. I'm gonna work with that. I wanted that to be brown though. Maybe I will go into the shimmer. Oh, whoa, a lot came on my brush. Let me take some off. That's not as shimmery as I thought. Now that one, pow! Oh, I made that darker. Cletus. Oh man. Let's see how we're gonna bring it together. Oh my gosh, and I haven't done makeup in like a week, but I'm gonna take this um detailed crease brush and bring it over a little bit just drag it circular motions to diffuse it a little bit right around here and then bring it like that now i'm going to go back in with the gold color and why the ice cream truck is here and it's 50 degrees who knows i am going to go into this color right here that looks like peach smoothie and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone and see what it gives me. Not as peachy as I thought, but it's working. This one is frosted taupe and this one is deep bronze. But what I wanna do is I wanna take the deep bronze under like in my lash line. And then I think I'm gonna take that taupe color and put it right here. Then, I'm gonna take my black liner and put that in the water line. This is just a little trick I like to do when I wanna put color on the lash line, but then I still want my eye to be kinda of deep or it to be deepened up a little bit, if that even makes sense, I don't even know. One day soon, I will be doing a wing liner tutorial, but not on today because I have to change my angles and everything. So um, yeah, one day soon, promise, pinky promise. But for now, I'm gonna do my wing liner, I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So before we correct, actually, let me use my primer. Now this primer is one heck of a blot primer and this is drugstore. It is at Walgreens, y'all. It is by Soap and Glory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange so I can correct and I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of this BB cream right here. I'm gonna put it on with my finger just like I would do my other one by Makeup Forever. Just a little tip, if you guys have like lines underneath your eyes, just try smoking it out a little bit or putting a little liner under there. And then it's not so bad because where the liner is, that's where your crease is, but nobody knows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this on my hand. I don't even know, you guys probably won't be able to see me mix it, but I'm gonna put some on my hand and I like a lot of foundation, I just do. And I'm gonna mix some of this lighter color in there. And I'm just going off of, I don't know, I'm just gonna put a little, I don't think it's quite half and half, but I just wanna put a little in there. And then I'm gonna mix it and then I'm gonna adjust it as need be. This is the shade that I came up with. And I think that we can work with that. Let's go. So to keep up with the whole drugstore affordable makeup theme, I am going to use my L'Oreal sponge, which love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it, I love it. Comment below if y'all know what song I was singing. But I like this sponge a lot. I think I'm gonna use this Iman, but I know that they are deeper than what they appear to be. I think we're gonna go with this one as a concealer because I believe it oxidizes as well. I would like it to be a little more yellow, but we're gonna roll with it. I don't think that this one will give me much of a highlight, so that's what we're gonna do. And I don't know if I said it, but this color is in the color sand. And yeah, that works. Oh, not bad. Oh! 
okay, you mind? I'm trying to get it out here. I'm going to use my Ben Nye powder in banana today because I told you guys I was going to alternate between that and my RCMA powder. Oh, I missed you. It's been a while. The only thing I like to cream contour, honestly, is my nose. I don't really do cream contouring on my face. So I'm gonna use my NYX, but listen, it's drugstore boo, it's drugstore. Now we are gonna use my BH Cosmetics powder, as I told you guys, and per the use, and I'm gonna pop that baby on right quick. We're gonna contour, do some blush, and we are almost there. So what I am gonna do with this mineral powder is I'm gonna contour. That's what I've decided to do, and I'm gonna use a blush to contour. But this shade is in cognac, and I'm gonna use that baby. So let's see how you do. All right. You guys know, I don't like to contour heavily. If you do like to contour heavily, you can always use this color right here, but that's way too deep for me, way too deep, because I just, I just be playing when I contour. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't have to contour a lot, so I just do a dibba dabba do ya. This is called Party and Dare, and I told you guys that I wanted to go into this palette too, because I wanted to use that as a contour, because that's really pretty. It looks like sketch. I'm just gonna put a little bit right above that contour. Ooh, that's pigmented. Oh, do y'all see? I'm, we got to blend that out. That's pretty, but dang, I didn't mean to. Ooh, that's pigmented. I'm going to have to blend that out with my, woo, hold on. I want to go into this orange color right here, and I'm just going to put a dab, just a dib a dab, because it seems, look at that, it seems like it's super pigmented. Let me brush some of that off. These blushes are very, very pigmented. Very, 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 very. Oh, and it's kind of like a highlight. Ooh, I, ooh, that's, that's, that's a bit much for me. It's pretty, but it's a bit much for me, all this working together. The final thing before the lipstick, I'm gonna try this e.l.f. highlighter. It is called Blush Gems. Ooh, I'm hoping it's not too pink. Oh, wait, no, no, I like it. I like it, I like it. Now that I've blended out my hairline, let's try this Make It Last setting spray by Milani and see how it works. Oh, it smells perfumey. Ooh. All right, guys. So now that I got dressed, I think I want to go with this wine color right here. So, and two, I've never used their triple butter matte cream. And it says it has mango butter, shea butter, and cocoa butter. It smells good. I did not have my mic on. I was just a talking and my mic wasn't even on me. So this is it for the final look, you guys. I think it turned out really nice. You guys, I used all affordable like drugstore, like beauty supply store makeup and it worked out. But let me know in the comment section if you think we pulled it off by giving me a fist bump in the comments, just saying, okay? But stay tuned, you guys. I have a lot of plans for some videos and stuff like that. I have a lot of ideas. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing. I appreciate y'all. And if you haven't joined the family, what are you waiting for? Just saying. All right, so you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. But not too shabby. Hey. But anyway, bye. So keep me confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CQ Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the CQ Beauty. Yeah, CQ Beauty.